the 100 lap feature coming up uh, here tonight is uh, our 19th version of this race. It honors a driver that was uh, killed before, you know, what an early death for sure. Um, 27 years old. Uh, Billy Vukovic, the third, was a super modified champion, a Copper World Classic winner, a three time starter of the Indianapolis 500 mile race. He was on the rise, he was headed to greatness. He was the first third generation racer to compete in uh, the 500. And like his father and his grandfather, Bill Vukovic, before him, he was named the Indianapolis 500 mile race rookie of the year. Uh, as I said, he was killed at the age of 27 while practicing for a CRA pavement sprint car race at Mesa Marin Speedway on the 25th of November, 1990. So tonight we're thinking about Vuki and the Vukovic family, still a golf tournament every year uh, out there. It's uh, used to raise money for Fresno High School. Billy was an amateur uh, amateur weather forecaster, something right up uh, the alley of one of our members here tonight, Anthony Corsiniti, and um, that money goes to help for a scholarship for for the high school there in Fresno, California. Just one of the greats in super modified racing was part of the the, the real first East West Ch Super Modified Challenge when Vern Wrights brought his car to Oswego Speedway, and uh, Billy V was up there and put on an exhibition race with Steve Joy and Eddie Bellinger and a few others. So uh, just a great dude, a kind, kind, kind human being. A great loss to all of motorsports. And, uh, boy, the Vukovic family sure has been through a lot. But uh, tonight we race and celebrate his life as we've done 18 prior times. Sorry we're getting a late start tonight uh, because this is not real super modified racing. It's computer-based. Uh, our servers decided they wanted to shove an update down our throats tonight. So I uh, thought we were prepared for that and saw some server like those. So first things first, most importantly, we want to make sure our racers are, are comfortable and good to go. Uh, more important than our broadcast, obviously, uh, to make sure the guys can see what they're supposed to see in this old NASCAR heat game here that we're running. Uh, Super Modified Scorecard, the sponsor of tonight's race, John Davidson and Jim Davidson. Uh, John Davidson, co-founder of Supers, sponsoring tonight's race as he has since the very first one um, when it was the Super Modified Scorecard Classic back in 2004. Two former winners, or one former winner in here, a short, short car count tonight. Guys tr struggling with um, all kinds of problems, but uh, a couple guys having their schedules chained around, uh, including the top two in points, Dave O, a two-time winner of this race, and Brad Keezer, who's looking to win this race for the first time, unable to make it. He was hoping maybe he could make up some, some points on Dave O, but got stuck working the concession stands at his uh, uh, for his football team. So uh, he is not here, and uh, but third, fourth, and fifth are here in points, and it's a tough, uh, close one between Bob Gangler, Anthony Corsini, and Ryan Clune. So this will be a good show here tonight. Uh, Daniel Nance uh, getting ready to go away from the pole of uh, the BMK Logistics Fast Car Dash. Top six in time trials. Danny Ray unable to take time, struggling with computer issues, trying to get it fixed for the feature coming up here after this dash. Let's give you the starting lineup for the Fast Car Dash presented by BMK Logistics. BMKLogistics.com getting you your Amazon products to you in speedy delivery style. On the pole, driving the number 168. From Baldwinsville, New York, the rookie in the race here tonight, making his first Vukovic Classic start, Daniel Nans. Nans, sponsored by Han Welding and Nans Brothers Racing. Outside row number one in the number 14 is Bobby Hayduck out of Brook Park, Ohio. Hayduck in the number 14. And inside row number two, driver who's run quite a few of these. In fact, finished second last year in this race. He hails from Wyoming, Michigan, drives the number 10. In auto supply machine, Michigan Hill Gang, also the sponsor for Gary Waldron. Starting outside row number two in the fast car dash, the number 25 of Bob Gang. We're in the last row, driving the number 12 from North Syracuse, New York. It's Anthony Corsaniti and the TeesForecast.com machine. And starting scratch on the field in the number 13 because he is currently leading the BMK Logistics Fast Car Dash points. It's Rapid Ryan Clunan. Clunan in the 13 goes away from sixth starting position. 
here at Mesa Marin for the BMK Logistics Fast Car Dash. Fast Car Dash points being kept all season long. Ryan Clunan only needs to go one more week. Next week will be our last Fast Car Dash of the season as we round out our season here in a three-week stretch in California. Clunan leading the BMK Logistics Fast Car Dash challenge points with 22 overall. Dave O second at 12. Winner of the BMK Logistics Fast Car Dash Challenge picks up an Amazon gift card courtesy of BMK Logistics. Field roll around to the backstretch now in the NASCAR Heat game. They'll be starting from the middle of the backstretch and then getting the command. So a little bit different for those of you that watch iRacing or R Factor 2 or a set of Corsa. The old NASCAR Heat game, one of the most modded games in all of sim racing history. And we took stock cars and turned them into super modifieds. Field getting set to go here. Daniel Nance on the front row with Bobby Hayduck outside row one. Hayduck still healing up from uh, a torn ligament in his knee. Game where Walter, the two NASCAR Heat Supers veterans in row two, getting ready to wind him up off of turn number four. Green flag flies. And, we're... and wow, Hayduck. Will start stacks him up in the outside row, and he's into the back stretch wall. And great start out front. Orsonini working low out of turn number two on Waldron. Looting right to the rear nerf bar of the 12. They finish this race is the way they'll start the Bill Bukovic Classic 100 coming up right after this. Of course, the Navy included gang with nose and tail. Walder gets a little breathing room now on the 12, of course, the Navy. Waldron looks like he's starting to reel in the 10 or 168. I don't think Waldron's going to have enough time with three to go, though. Rookie driver, we go away from the pole. 